Hey, I found you, you via Com Babe Clem and oh. have enjoyed what I've seen of your show so far. Thanks. If you haven't watched Com Babe, Com Babe Clem, you should. Mariam guest starred. It's a very, very cool show where she talks about um, politics whilst doing makeup tutorials. I mean, what is not like to like about that? Absolutely. No, she, she's fucking mad. And again, we'll put that in the show notes. Yeah. And thank you so much for having me as well. And the fact that people have handled the show through that. Yeah, that's lovely. Um, yeah, nice. anyone who hasn't watched that, you should. Because like, if you're like me, you get I get kind of like... I used to watch... Um, before I'd heard what ASMR is, I used to watch makeup videos just to get that tingly feeling in the back of my head. You like ASMR? Oh, I never knew what it was. Uh, but I used to watch makeup videos and get this like tingly feeling and I was like, oh, this is really great. It's like a head orgasm. And then I found out it was this whole thing called ASMR. But what, do you like ASMR? Do you mean do I like it? It sickens me. I can't. Oh, I like, I like the feeling I get from watching makeup videos. Makeup videos, yeah, but you know there are specific ASMR yeah, yeah, yeah. videos now. I can't. Like, I did one with my VR headset. So it was super weird. She like rubbed it with a um, like makeup brush, like, and it felt like in my Ilfric way. That's nice, but it's the one where they like eat and shit, and like oh, do no. like chewing gum and stuff. I'm like, no, the ones I do is whispering and brushing things. Okay. And like gotcha. making and like making cuts in sand. Okay, yeah, no, that that. I There's loads of different ones from people. Like I have a the friend who ones. does it with um, wood wood cutting. Gives him the same. Okay. <laughs> but okay. the man version. I get. <laughs> Uh, you know, having spent years in squats around a lot of middle class people that are trying to rebel against the, the etiquette of their very posh households, they will burp all the time and they will, you know, uh, eat with their mouths open, you know, make all the sounds. No, I've never and seen I'm just them. Like, and, and, and apparently this is now a trend and I really, I hate this word, but like, well, not word, but anyways, I, it does trigger me, like, because I know, like, again, growing up, because you yeah. are working class, you you're, like, you're, the previous yeah, one, yeah. you're taught more, like, um, not ethics, fucking etiquette. Etiquette. And so you want to behave well, but all these people, they're just like, no. No, I haven't seen those types. There's loads of different types. The ones I've seen is crinkling paper and also makeup tutorials. So my point is, if you like having a head orgasm and also rad politics, you should watch Combo Clem. Mm -hmm. So next, rest of the question. I'm a straight male who went to an all boys school and grew up with few family members or friends who are women close to my age. Like many others who've asked questions here, I'm also on the autism spectrum. Together, all these issues have impaired my social skills in contacting women as friends and making clear non-romantic intentions. When I first started university, I often suggested to women I liked as friends that we met up privately, much as I do for potential male friends, which I now regret, knowing how uncomfortable I realised many of them definitely felt from the date vibes I was giving off. Did you go like, you know, you and me, we should hang out privately? Okay, I'm sorry, that probably sounded bad, but you know, I hope you didn't I've do that, just, basically. I've read many stories from women, mainly on the left, of course, who've been very open post Me Too about the kind of discomfort situations I guess have caused them. Now I'm about to re-enter university again and hopefully make new friends of all genders. I'd love to know some tips on how to respectfully develop friendships with women without making them feel uncomfortable. Thank you. I think that's really great because it's not about romantic intention and it's just about friendships and we haven't really had a question about just friendships which is really That's quite true. cool that is cool that is cool and you use very like cool inclusive language and you were very like self-reflective and about your past behaviors and i think you seem like a really rad person yeah it's just like be on it i would not phrase it like mariam said as would you like to hang out privately i also feel like if you phrase it to a male friend he might also find that a bit odd because it's just a strange phrasing yeah, but it's so tricky, right? Though, okay, so these are the qu okay. So, this is where like two drunk cis white girls are, you know, that are hitting a hitting a lot of our limitations as such. It's like we again, we're very thankful that we're receiving a lot of questions from people with mental health issues. And the one with you know where it was to do with Aspergers, we you know asked our our pals that 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 deal with that. And so you know for tips and advices and that. Well, don't deal with that. Actually, our Fucking legends this because is different of that. because it's how the women feel, right? We have to put ourselves in shoes of how we'd like to be approached as friends. Yeah, but like, oh, basically, oh, it's very easy for me. My point is, is like, it's very easy for me to say, hey, but you know, just phrase it like that, or you know, just be casual like that, or just say it like that. But I can see how, like, for you, that will still be an act, and then you'll be worried, what if other perceive other person perceives it as an act, you know? So of course we can give tips, and we're definitely going to get that now. But it's, it's still so performative, and it's such a, it's yeah, it's just because. It, kind of has to be I, mean, I don't know yeah I think we can try and think of some clear directives though because I think that's what um so people public often find spaces helpful. perhaps per, per, perhaps begin any friendship with hanging out in the public spaces yes. whether that's park you know or or um I don't know I, I, I yeah I, a museum a busy calf there we go but yeah so that that's a good beginning and sort of an intention to show that really this is just like a friendly thing as such yeah I mean also you can honestly you have to be up front and say I don't want to sound like I'm coming on to you. Yeah, I just really okay. like your company and 
it would be really cool if we could hang out sometime. Like, absolutely, just, you can just say that, and I would, as a woman, would really appreciate someone just saying that. Yeah, and, and also being nice. like, I don't really know how to phrase this, and also fucking like, just say, look, hey, I, I'm finding it difficult, or, or like, fuck it, say like, you know, I ha- I'm on, on the spectrum, I find it difficult to phrase these things. So, but basically, I think you're great. I don't think that many that that many great people are. We should hang out. Yeah. As friends, um, and, yeah. and and if and all you that. want is friendship, and it sounds like that's all you want, then you can genuinely just say that because I love it. I love when people want to be my friend. It's so rare that someone says, "I really like you. Let's hang out." Even as friends, there's so much dancing around no. and being like, "I." Re- it was my birthday recently, and I had this whole anxiety of like, "Can I invite these people to my party? I've only met them twice. Will they think it's weird?" And it's fucking nonsense. I love it when someone I've only met twice invites me to a yes. party. So I'm like, wow, I really like them. They really like me. This is really cool. Yeah, there aren't that many great people around. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, if someone said to me... And ask I them like questions, to... you know? That's always nice for people to receive, you know? That, like, you're curious about them. And But if you are asking questions, make sure you actually are asking them because you want to know the answer and not just, like... Yes. Mm-hmm. Next question. Mm-hmm. I'm going through the motions of doing it. Like, if these are people you're interested in... Be interested in them. Well, but then again, you, you, I agree, but I, I also recognize as well when people do learn a routine that is helpful for them, but I so appreciate that they even have done that, you mm. know? So so that's okay, too. It is okay. As it's in just... they're creating that effort of even applying a certain routine on you. But I definitely have had situations where men have asked me questions just... And then, like, not just so they can do the thing. But that's normally, again, when they're trying to hit on me and are just trying to show that they're interested before they get down yeah. to the whole, like, dick thing. So, yeah, be sincere, be open. Say, I just want to hang out with you, like, as a friend. I think you're rad. And also, okay, really crucially, just because some of them won't work out, that doesn't mean that the next one won't. Like, this happens yes. to everyone all the time. Oh my God, the amount of times happened to me where it's just, like... I recognize someone and I go really deep in because I don't know, I just, I don't fuck about that. I think life is short. I go like, I think you're great. I think there aren't, the, yeah, I think everyone kind of sucks. We should be hanging out. And they're like, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, maybe. Or like, yeah, for real. I'm like, well, I think we should really hang out. Because mm. like everyone, yeah, it's just, this seems, there seems to be, you know, we click, we like each other. We There's humor in our conversations. And it's like, yeah, yeah, And then you actually kind of, ne- not necessarily, you know, you don't hear from them again, but it's really just because, you know, life gets in the way. Yeah. I've also done that as well, you know. I've also done that as well. Some of my best friends, I ghost for months just because <sighs> life is big and London is big. Yeah. And it is it is hard to so, even, like, even, yeah. even if they do seem like they're blowing you off, that might not even mean it's because they don't want to be your friend and they might just be having a time where they need to, like, Absolutely. borrow. So do not take that personally. So, yeah, like... If, even if you like apply all of our advice here and then you like you make an effort on that particular one day with that particular one person and it doesn't go your way, please don't think that's it as such. Yeah. But also if someone is definitely not interested, then don't push it. Yeah. Well, yeah. I guess so. But I also I can't think of a single person that's made an effort to be my friend and seemed genuinely interested in me that I haven't also wanted to follow up with. Which yeah. is kind of... I mean, honestly, everyone likes flattery. Or maybe it's me, but I like flattery. If someone really wants to be a friend, I'm like, help them, yeah. Mm, yes, but even just today, actually. <laughs> I don't know how to talk about this. So today I tweeted, and it kind of got a lot of, like... Oh, oh the boring of... thing. But it, okay, so it's interesting. And I think it is sometimes a class issue, but I know, like, I have found, as of late, and I guess this is maybe part of being, like, in the public eye of some sorts, um, people want to hang out, and it's great, and we do, and I'm honestly, like... I have met so many people through Twitter in the past couple of, of years and literally just being like DMing each other, yeah, let's meet up and, da, da, da. and some of those relationships go really great and we continue them and I've met so many amazing people and such incredible opportunities through that. But every now and then, there, there, you know, you meet people and it, it's just like, I'm making all the effort, I have all the yes. stories, I feel like I'm making their life exciting. And you don't fetishize someone. And, and, I, and, and I get, yeah, I kind of, I make, yeah, and, and they're not really asking questions. I'm that, I don't know, kind of creating... I feel like I'm working to make them feel better. I don't know, like, to make them have stories. Yes. And and, and, and my question was, like, oh, you know, like, is, is being interesting a privilege? And a lot of people were like, you know, but what is interesting to one person is different from what is interesting to the other, which is absolutely a fair point. I just, I, I, I think if people are not necessarily putting the effort or feel entitled to other people's time and or are not curious and or, yeah, I don't know, that, that, that there is... I mean, again, there, 
there is the ob objective stereotypical way of to be, I guess, I don't know, whatever, beautiful. And then there's the stereotypical objective way to be interesting, which is just, I suppose, have stuff to say <laughs> and have yeah, stories. But... And if you don't, but again, even if you don't, they're like, be open and self-deprecating about that or so. And I don't know, I just, but there have been a few meetups where I'm just like, well, that was a waste of time, and I probably gave them a bunch of stories, and they're like millionaires <laughs> all yes. the time. And I'm like, yeah, I've earned like 11,000 pounds less, yeah. Sure. <laughs> and I buy the drinks! Yeah. Fuck you! <laughs> yeah, take into account class, obviously. No, but like, whatever. Anyways, yeah, do. No, but sometimes, seriously, I find like a lot of, there are a lot of people that are like feeling entitled. To right, be but entertained, comes, basically. But that comes down to, like, why do you want to be someone's friend? Is it because you want to seem cool by association? In which case, that's kind of a weird thing. And that's We've all been there. We've been we there. have been there. Yes. But if, it, like, if it's because you genuinely like them, then... And like them for them, not like what... But it has to be a give-and-take relationship, is what I'm yes. saying. Yeah, you have to give something to... To... And we have bits in our, like, how to date ones, which talk about, like, making conversation and also, like, a lot of ones specifically people with Asperger's or autism, which are worth looking into about how to share interests and stuff. And the ones that apply to dating also apply to interpersonal relationships in terms of how to just be charming and funny and interesting. Totally subjectively, obviously, because we're just two people, not the, like, of course, fucking of board course. of interesting examiners, but that would be a fun job. But, yeah. Yeah, no, this is, this is low bar as well. I mean, yeah, when it comes to interesting, I mean actual adventures and such. This is just a conversation. But whatever. Anyways, sorry, I'm projecting now. But some of the most people, interesting people I find have, are people that haven't, say, left London ever, and yet they're just still good at conversation and have yeah. good thoughts about things. Like. Yeah. Or, but to be fair, then I was thinking, I'm probably really boring to people that are, like, really highly intellectual, you know? Right. And they can't have that conversation with me. Of course, sure. That's a different type well, of... Well, those people I find very boring and don't want to have that conversation with them. So it is, it is subjective. 100%. 100%. I think it's all about generosity at the end of the day. Yeah. Yeah, if you're expecting someone to give their time and energy and affection to you, then you need to offer the same to them. Yeah, and we'll say, uh, yeah, definitely been in the situations where... Yeah, yeah, you're the one kind of making effort, but again, and... Or it's even, it goes down even the worst path, where it was just like, oh, but... Oh, no, I'm going to sound like a dick now. But, you know, someone's like, go, go, I suppose, problems in their life as such, and so you end up... You mean this, this show that we're no, doing? No. <laughs> no. no, to be fair, again, a lot of the time actually does... No, I mean, emotional labour is a real thing. thing. And yeah. you should, like, the reason why we do this show is because we recognise that it has been put on a lot of women's, in particular, shoulders to do the emotional labour of dealing with someone's problems and then when they're done with their problems, they ghost you and don't ever, like, actually try to be there in a relationship and you end up feeling used. And that is a massive thing and we totally get why a lot of women in particular are totally exhausted by this and we do this show because we have the emotional labour but we also do it sporadically because we don't always have the emotional labour and a lot of times like there would be people that like you know reply guys that like all of my work and tra tra you know and sort of eventually they try and get into the pants as such mm. and like I politely say no and they're, they're, they're never heard from back like they unfold mm. <laughs> but I really am nice oh uh, Oh god, now I sound like a dick. But I don't know. Yeah, I just but like, you're not that person to be just one friendship. No, so. you're awesome. Like I'm massively projecting here. I'm just saying it's like it would be nice to feel that there are actual friendships out there. Yes. Yeah. Too many times <sighs> people we've, call thought, us we've cultivated yes. friendships with men, and then it's turned out it has the ulterior motive, and it, it's not just that it it's makes the friendship. It even if they want to be friends and also maybe pursue a romantic thing. You, unless they put a lot of care into convincing you otherwise, it ends up with feeling like the entire friendship was just an excuse to get to X, Y, and Z point of, like, pants off, which... And even if they're like, no, I still want to be your friend. Even if they mean they that... They I fuck mean, off. Half the time they don't, they fuck off. And the other half, it's on them to prove that they still want to be your friend. Which is fine, because, again, that's something we talked about in the previous uh, episode, I think, as well. It's just like, no, just because someone has, like, admitted feelings towards you, that doesn't mean I'm, I change my opinion on them in any shape or form. Like, mm. of course you're going to be maybe like... I don't think this will work, but that doesn't mean I want to end friendship. I want to be no. in your life because you're rad, and then yeah. you go off, and I'm like, okay, well that was a waste of time. Or like a lot, you know, I lost someone. Yeah. Anyways, pure projection here. Yeah, and also like, about your issue. I am but... probably about three or four of these in. So, the party begins. <laughs>